So, okay, what do you want to talk about now? I want to talk about setting the grid. Setting the grid. I have to give uh, thanks to Norma Gentile, who is the one who taught me about the grids. And setting a grid, for me, honors all the dimensions, especially the dimensions around us, directly related to us, like we live in the third dimension. We're physical beings. We're spiritual beings having a physical experience. And so we want our experience to be as supportive for the universe as it can possibly be. And the universe expands as we feel. And that's part of the reason that we're here on Earth, is to feel. We're not here to live in the drama, but to just react to whatever the drama is and recover and move on. So living in the grid, we want to honor Mother Nature for allowing us to be physical because that is truly a blessing to be able to be spiritual beings in this physical place. And in doing that, we want to honor Mother Nature. So the dimensions are the third dimension where we live, the second dimension, which is part of Mother Nature, which is where some of the other beings live. And I've heard recently that there are higher beings that live in the second dimension. And then the first dimension is Mother Nature herself, the pure energy of Earth. And it's not something that we can actually feel. Some people are aware of it, but can't access it. And so those are in invisible dimensions. And then the fourth dimension is just outside our reach as third dimensional beings. There are people who can transition to the third dimension and bring in information. And then the fifth dimension and higher are more spiritual. And that's where guides and angels uh, live. They actually can come into the fourth dimension to connect with us. So when we set the grid, we honor each one of the dimensions and open ourselves to be able to understand. And in another conversation, I'll be able to uh, share with you how to set your grid daily. Okay? Very cool. Thank you.